A very warm welcome once again, farmers, to the ACE video podcast, the Agricultural Center of Excellence, live from here in, in Caesar. So today we're going to be talking about the most common or the most consumed crop in Zimbabwe. That's maize. But I have an expert, a veteran cadre within the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, within the Agritech Department, Mr. Benim Tembu, will be telling us the details of how to do maize production. Now, the approach we'll be talking about is of a business approach. We're not talking about just producing it so that you can eat with your kids, Labanto and Endlin. No, we're talking about farming as a business. So you'll be taking us through the aspect of how do we do green mealies, when should we do them, what are the fertilizer requirements, the seeding, all those nitty gritties, Mr. Tim, for the next couple of weeks, will be taking us through uh, the fundamentals of maize production. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy and learn more about maize production. Siabo. Good afternoon. We are talking to Mr. B.M. Dube, Agriculture Extension Supervisor for the days here. I'm going to talk about how you to go about producing green meals, maize for green meal. Here in Matebele South, it's a dry area, so you need to choose the right, the, the proper, proper method of planting maize. In this, in our regards, we have chosen minimum tillage as land preparation uh, for land preparation. Minimum tillage has got advantages. You don't disturb the soil. You conserve the moisture. You don't uh, partly the soil so that you end up having no air circulation. So this is the right method that we have chosen where we only draw lines, we do the minimum tillage, only drawing lines to a depth of 20 mil, 15 millimeters, then we plant. We have chosen some varieties. Plant, plant need spacing. Our, our row spacing is 70 centimeters following our trip lines. Then in row of 40, putting three plants, then we thin to two. In this interface to 20 centimeters in row spacing. And our plant proposition uh, would go as far as 40 to 50,000 plants, which is more profitable than, than doing a grain, grain production. Now I'm going to talk about fertilizer. As I've said, that needs a living space. It also needs a proper fertilization, proper nutrition. You, you use compound S or compound D, which has got three major elements, nitrogen, phosphate and potash, which are essentially required by, for establishment of the, the crop. The phosphorus is for root development, the nitrogen is for leaf development and for phot use as, as photosynthesis takes place. Potash is for vigor and the health in the plants. Thereafter, it's very essential to give plant aeration. You need to, 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 to thin. As I alluded, I, you plant three plants per plantation, you thin to two, but they translate to 20 centimeters in row spacing. Then the other important issue is to do a top dressing. Come in with top dressing after uh, four weeks or when the, the plant is at knee height. You, you require about 100 to, 200, to, 100 to 250 kgs of AN per hectare. This is very important for leaf development. As you know, leaves are for cooking. The photosynthesis, the, that's where photosynthesis takes place. They manufacture food for the plant, for the stem, for the leaf, for the actually uh, seed that you are looking for at the end. So you need to, to do your applications after four weeks. Then you can come in at tussling. You can do split application where there is too much rain, it's acceptable. Where you put the other at four weeks, then at, at, the, the, at the interval four weeks, then next after six weeks. So that, that if you, you, avoid, you, you, you keep for e -E leaching that have taken place.